Far, far away from where you and I live rests a tiny, curious little kingdom called St. Paws, the best place to be in exile. Now, St. Paws is inhabited by folks much, much fuzzier than you or me. Don't take it personally. Unquestionably, the fuzziest of them all is their beloved Princess Katrina, or the Fuzzy Princess for short. Hey, who are you calling short? Yes, Katrina's about as normal as a Fuzzy Princess can be. Fluffy ears, sharp claws, long whiskers, and a tail. Well, perhaps that part is not so normal. You see, Katrina's tail is a rather unique work of magic. For at any moment, the princess can reshape it into the form and function she so desires. Neat. Alas, St. Paws has a bit of an international image problem. The kingdom is so small and so obscure that it's not even on the map. Not even the expensive ones. It would quickly be decided that Princess Katrina would lead a first ever diplomatic mission for the nation, traveling in the most luxurious aircraft the St. Paws Tourism Board could afford. I need to work on how to control this box. I wish you'd do be careful, Katrina. It's not my fault. They didn't give me an instruction book for this. Oh, the instructions are clearly written on the box. This side up. Mom, that's not... No, oh, never mind. Well, as long as we're here, we should look around. Yeah, I need to stretch anyway. <sighs> Better get the gang. Hey, Kuma! Jiro! Get up here! Ooh, that was a bad trip. Oh, where are we? Is there shelter? Is there food? Kuma, you just ate! No, but that's food I'm used to. Think of all the new food they might have around here. Careful, darling. We don't even know where we are. Oh, look! Inhabitants! Wow, the cats in this place don't seem to have tails. And they're all going bald! Honey, I don't think they're cats, or if they are, they have really bad fashion taste. Look! Food! Kuma, maybe you shouldn't- oh! Hey! Give that back! I said give it! Oh, you ruined my umbrella! I'm terribly sorry, sir. This isn't how my kingdom wanted to make a first impression. Perhaps I can offer you a temporary solution until you can get a new one. Hey, what? You gonna pull a spare umbrella out of your butt? Of course not. Don't be silly. I have to make it first. Let's see. A little twist here, then turn it here. There. This should be sufficient in the meantime. <laughs> Well, that's just rude. If I may, your highness, um, perhaps the subjects of this kingdom are not used to our particular, um, customs. If we want our diplomatic mission to be successful, we need to work on our approach if we intend to earn their trust. Yeah, you're right, Shiro. Okay, gang, if we want diplomacy, then we need to show everyone that St. Paws will always lend a paw when in need, whether they want it or not. Wait, what? Now, onward! Oh, why do I have this feeling that I'll have a headache tonight? This is gonna be amazing, Gladdy! I finally perfected this yo-yo trick! No offense, Jackson, but yo-yo and amazing do not fit in the same sentence. Oh, don't be such a cynical Susie. Why can't you be a glad gladdy? Well, if you can truly amaze me with this trick, then I'll give you a whole bottle of Coke free of charge. You're on. When I do around the world, I really do around the world. Okay, that did amaze me, but I don't think you're ever going to become a superstar performing yo-yo tricks, Jackson. Nuh-uh, I'm totally going to be a yo-yo king someday. Yeah, well, do yourself a favor. If you want to live like a king, then come work at my dad's door. <laughs> hey, where's my Coke? <laughs> Your Highness, 
just must you get around like this? I think Kuma is starting to get uh, seasick, box sick, oh, one of those things. Hey, this is our only mode of transportation. Might as well make the best of it. Ah, here's someone that needs our help. Oh, come on. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello, sir. My name is Princess Katrina, and I'm from the Royal St. Paws family. You seem to be having trouble with something. Anything I can do to help? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, if you can give me a new hammer, that'd be swell. I have just the thing. This hammer is so powerful, it can drive through anything. Huh, well, we'll just see about that. to bother you, my good sir, but can I have my hammer back? Oh. oh, hello, sir. I didn't know our people live around here. Uh, Mom, can you come here for a sec? Yes. Do you know what he's saying? I could be wrong. But I think he's speaking Norwegian. Oh, if only I took that correspondence course at St. Paul's Tech. Let me try something. Can you understand me? <laughs> Whoa! At least ask me out for dinner first. <laughs> Cost me 30 bucks to rent this steam cleaner. It better work. I wonder what got him all worked up. I'll take a little look-see. You're not only a stain on my floor, you're a strain in my life. Soon I will be rid of you, once and for all. Let's turn this machine on. <laughs> you piece of garbage! Yes, calm down, dude. What's going on? Ah! Hey! What the? Hey, who are you? Are you intruders? Oh, no. Oh, no, no. We're not intruders. We're, uh, here to help you with that stain. Uh, yes, uh, what she said. Really? Yes, I have the most powerful steam cleaner to help get rid of it. Ooh, gimme, gimme. Okay, one coming up. Psst, are you sure about the powerful part? I hope so. Did you see how unhinged that guy was? Uh, come on, I ain't got all day. Get to it. Get to it. Oh, uh, well. Go ahead, try it out. Uh, still not working. More steam. More steam. Can't this thing make more steam? I don't think that's a... Uh, give me max power. Gosh, it's like I'm in a sauna. Oh, I just had my hair permed this morning. All this steam and the stain still not coming out. Come on, increase the heat. This is as high as it goes. Hmm, maybe if I do this. I lost it for good. Is everyone okay? Oh, that's it. I'm flying on my own from now on. Um, I. Uh... 
Oh, hello, young man. Could this humble royal princess assist you today? Ah! Y you better not think about eating me, because I know how to use this thing. Whoa, relax. We're not enemies. Prove it. Prove it? What do you think we've been doing all day? Huh? Ever since we've arrived, we've been trying to help others. But in between my idiot bear servant eating that umbrella, that house blowing up, and that hammer incident, I'm starting to get a tad on the edge. It's not easy, you know? Oh, hey. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. Look, uh... My name's Jackson. Jackson, we bring no harm. Honest. No, no, it's fine. In fact, I know how to cheer you up. Hmm? What if I... Perform some tricks for you. Ooh, tricks. Where did that popcorn come from? Well, I always keep emergency popcorn around in case of sudden entertainment. Well, all right. A little show can't hurt. Oh, how exciting! Prepare for a show of a lifetime. I call this walking the dog. Whoa, hey! <laughs> Uh, sorry, we drink a lot of water today. Ooh, impressive. Here's what we call Cat's Cradle. My baby cradle looks nothing like that. Now what is it doing? I call this doing taxes. Don't laugh. I once did my sister's taxes this way. Oh, bravo, darling. Thank you, thank you. Glad you enjoy the Yo-Yo King. I didn't know we were speaking to another royal dignitary. Now for the finale. Let me show you this trick I mastered earlier today. It's a little something I like to call Around the World. Oh, wow! Remarkable! Hey, 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 do it again! Do it again! Oh, all right. Watch. Oh, you all right, boss? Oh, who did that? Well, well, well. If it ain't my old pal, Jackson. Now, now, bloated whale. That was an accident. What if that matters at all? Ha-ha! <laughs> You're so gonna get it now. Oh, <laughs> indeed. Uh, excuse me. Hello? I believe my friend made it clear that he didn't mean to hurt you intentionally. What the heck? Uh, I think I read about them on the internet. First suitors or whatever. I believe we can settle this issue diplomatically. No, oh, stop confusing me with fancy big words like diplo whatever so I could beam that kid in the face. Sir, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> oh yeah? Watch me. Grab Jackson. Roger! Ah, help, help! Sir, I repeat, you will regret this decision. Well, this is what I think of your warning. <laughs> you got him tight? Yeah. Okay, Buster, you asked for it. Uh huh? I warned you. <laughs> oh, oh, what just happened? I don't know, but I am pissed! Back for more, eh? Very well. Gotcha, boss! Cat, watch out! Better get my gloves off. Take that! On guard! That was a metal bat! How was that possible? I have my ways. Help! Help! <laughs> Oh, my aching head! Hey! 
you know, I get the feeling this chick's not from this part of town. You got that right. Bravo, darling! Oh, jolly good! That was amazing! Aw, just helping someone out. No, really. That kid's been terrorizing me for ages. You really did me a favor. You mean I helped you out? Oh, you bet. Yes! I did it! I finally helped someone! The first step in coexisting with the hairless ape creatures! Ah, uh, we prefer to be called humans. Humans. Yes, got it. Chiro, write this down. H? Why? Actually, it's spelled... Oh shoot, we never really thought about shelter when we arrived. You know, I think we have some room in my apartment. I'm listening. Stan gets here soon. Jackson, is that you? Yeah, I'm home. Oh, did they leave the package by our door? No, this package isn't. Oh, that darn delivering man never rings the doorbell. I hope the rain didn't damage the package. Oh, I mean, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hello, Miss Jordan. Your little brother told us all about you. Yes, uh, he said you'd be willing to lodge us in your humble abode. I said maybe she'd be willing. Anyway, we'll let you get acquainted with the rest. Come on, Mom. Let's look around. Wait, what do you mean, rest? Oh, hi there. Um, mind if I use your shower? It's been a long day. Uh, huh? Great! Oh, thanks. Hey, uh, you got any snacks? What did I get myself into? 